With every passing birthday, we know we're getting older, but is age-related decline an inevitable part of life? By understanding how and why we age, scientists at the Babraham Institute are laying the foundations for ways to overcome the negative effects of ageing and reduce disease. If we can turn back the ageing clock, could age really just be a number? The ageing process begins the moment we're created. Children grow to adulthood and our bodies continue to change throughout our lives. Modern medicine has helped us to live longer. It's a wonderful thing, but the longer we live, the more we tend to experience the effects of old age, including becoming more vulnerable to illness. Scientists at the Babraham Institute are seeking to find out why and their method begins by trying to solve one of the mysteries of life. We don't fully understand how we age and we don't completely understand why we age. We need to know how we function. So in a sense of like when we were small children and we took things to pieces and put them back together, we can't do that to the human body, but we can work to understand how different parts of the body function, how different cells are controlled and what they do. It's only by understanding how the normal organism works that we can appreciate what changes, for instance, during ageing or during a disease. The Babram Institute is a world-renowned research centre based on this campus near Cambridge. Its scientists focus on three areas. Epigenetics, how factors such as ageing and nutrition can influence genes, genetic inheritance and the development of cells. Signalling, which examines how cells communicate with each other, and immunology, how our bodies combat illness and infections. More than 200 scientists from a diverse range of countries and cultures work together here with a shared aim of making discoveries that could change lives. The scientists in this laboratory study how our immune systems keep us healthy, but also why we become more susceptible to infections and diseases from the common colds to cancer as we become older. Dr. Michelle Linterman's team studies the effects of age on our white blood cells to understand why vaccinations, such as the flu jab, become less effective in later life. We don't entirely understand why the flu jab doesn't work as well in the later years of life, but we do have some insight. If you can understand the fundamental basic biology that underpins this impaired responsiveness, can we use that information to change the way that we vaccinate people or the way that we formulate vaccines to make them more potent in, in older people? Why is this so important for you to study? This extension of lifespan across the globe um, creates a challenge for, for biological science and, and that's to ensure that health span matches lifespan. And the reason that we think that this is important is that vaccination is an incredibly potent intervention um, for preventing infectious disease and it really enables individuals to stay healthier for longer. That Babraham vision is shared by around 60 private companies that also share its home. The Babraham Research Campus has a simple mission, to be the best place in Europe for life science businesses such as Benevolent AI. One of the attractions is the ability for our scientists to be able to interact with the bioscientists here in the Institute. Our company is using artificial intelligence to develop cutting edge solutions for drug discovery and development but we need to make sure that our underpinning science is also cutting edge. The fact that people are living longer is thanks to human innovation in science, engineering and medicine. And that gives the Babraham Institute's researchers a major mission. As we have become an increasingly ageing population, that's led to a global grand challenge of understanding the ageing process. It is absolutely essential that we increase knowledge, which can benefit society as a whole. So the work we're doing is not aiming to increase lifespan. What we're aiming to do is to provide the knowledge that will allow people to live healthy lives for longer. If they succeed, future generations can look forward to full and active later years with fewer health problems to slow them down.